Please, thank you, thank you. Yes, it's, uh, it's uh, really me. Um, finally, come to Argentina, South America. So, it's good to be back again in South America. It's been a long time. And uh, for some of you, because I'm not here to judge anyone, you have been given the gift of knowledge. And it's up to you how you decide to pursue it. When we look at all these variations in this world, all the things that happen. Today I saw a person walking and finally the sun is out. It's been raining and cloudy and cold and windy. <laughs> and he was dressed up, you know, he had his scarf, his sweater, his jacket. He was cold, he was walking. And I thought, wow, in America, in Miami, it's over 30 degrees. And somebody is walking and they don't have any clothes on, maybe just a bathing suit, and they're hot and sweaty. Somewhere there is night, somewhere there is day, somewhere calamities are happening, somewhere it is just beautiful. And here is this earth and it's going round and round, never, never still. And not only is it going round and round, but it's also in this motion, in a circular motion. And not only is it, in, not a, not only is it going around in that motion, but it's also tilting up and down, back and forth. And you look at it and you go, that's a lot of motion. That's a lot of things happening. But here, in our lives, in, in, in our existence, it doesn't feel like we're going round and round. It doesn't feel like we're tilting. So, what does that mean? Are we or are we not? We don't perceive it. We don't perceive that truly, Every single day that we have been given, every single day is unique, is a blessing. Do you see that the purpose of your life is to go from ignorance to knowledge? from darkness to light, to understand, to be fulfilled. This is going across the ocean. So there's a lot of people who go, yes, I think so. No, you don't. Once in a while, yes. And when you hear this video again, you will go. Yes, 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 yes. And between the video, you will forget. <laughs> Do you understand what it means to be human? Do you? Have you actually understood 
yourself. Do you understand what it is to be human? Do you know the nature of human beings? Our nature? Do you? I don't think so. Amongst many, many natures that we have, amongst many, many things that we have, there is one thing that we have. It's a problem. But this is human nature. We forget the most important thing. We forget the most important, unimportant things. Always remember. Today, coming here, I see people, you know, halfway out of the bus, screaming and yelling and in their cars and beating the side of the cars and singing. So I said, what are they doing? Soccer. <laughs> I was in Europe and they were having those games in South Africa. And so, you know, you drive around and, and when the Netherlands won, it's just like, you know, there they are in their pink and they're painted pink and they're screaming up and down. In Bar I, this was in Barcelona. I mean, it's like, okay, games are there, you are from there, and this is Barcelona, and okay. But I have never seen people celebrate life So they, so they all come out halfway off the bus and they're screaming and they're yelling and they got flags. <laughs> but I don't see them doing that for life. Do you? Have you? Human nature. Human nature. Is this a problem? No. It's not a problem, because once you understand it, you can do something about it. But if you don't understand it, you are going to do nothing about it. Why do you need a master? Because the master compensates for the weaknesses that you have. You forget. Master reminds. You forget, Master reminds. You don't celebrate life, Master gives you a way to celebrate life every day. Every day. Sit down, go inside, and that is how you celebrate life. That is how you celebrate life. Truly understand that the coming and going of this breath is the blessing. Because when you acknowledge that, what happens? Peace. Real peace. Real peace happens. The heart is full. And the mind, at least slower <laughs> than it had been. A lot of people say, well, you know, I, I practice and and I know people say this to me a lot. I practice and my mind bothers me. Okay, look. 
all your life, you've had never had any limits for the mind. It can go, it can run, it can run when it's sleeping, it can run when you're awake, it can run when you're driving, when you're talking, when you're walking, no limit, go, 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 go. You finally find a way to go inside, bypass the mind, and your limit is one hour. The fact that even in one hour, the fact that even in one hour your mind slows down this much is a real testament to knowledge. It is all day long, all day, it's moving so fast and anything that can slow it down just a little bit has got to be powerful. <laughs> you practice it one hour a day and it slows it down a little bit. You know, if I, if I were to tell you, if you want liberation, watch television two hours a day. Suppose, this is what I said to you, suppose. Watch television two hours a day. If you want liberation, sleep for two hours a day during daytime. You would have any problems? Would, do you think anybody would raise their hand and say, Raji, I really have problems watching two hours of television during the day? No. It's like, Raji, you told us such an easy method to get liberation. I love watching TV and then now I just sit there and watch TV and I know I'm watching TV and getting liberated. It actually says, the coming and going of this breath is my blessing. So how many of you truly feel blessed? Truly feel blessed. You know, some people raise their hands, they're brave ones. We all need to feel, we all need to feel blessed. We all need to feel blessed. All of us. The fact that somewhere it is warm and here it is cold only requires patience. only requires patience. You know why? Because pretty soon, in a few weeks, it'll be warm here and cold there. Somewhere it is light, somewhere it is dark. It only requires patience because in a few hours, where it is light, it'll become dark, and where it is dark, will become light. Only requires patience. Good, bad. You know what, this is, I was saying this yesterday, you know what is good about bad? You know what's really good about bad? It will pass. And do you know what is bad about good? <laughs> it will pass. <laughs> so, you need to understand that so far you are alive, it is good. Because it is a blessing. You've been blessed. And that you are blessed Every time this breath 
comes into you. You're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. Unfortunately, you think a blessing is fulfillment of your concepts. What is civilization? Especially in this day and age, in this modern day and age, a civilized country, what would that be considered? A civilized country would be where you have a house and it has water, running water 24 hours a day. But from where? From the roof? <laughs> there are houses <laughs> that have water running 24 hours a day, but unfortunately, it is a leak in the roof. Electricity, 24 hours a day. But through the outlet, not through your whole house, not through your whole body. This is big disparity. This is huge. This is a contradiction. Because we think blessing is when I can have a car. How does it work? People who are in the bus are envious of people who are on the motorcycle. People in the motorcycle are envious of what? The people who are in the car. And after that, it is the model and the make of the car. Listen, you don't take this lightly. No, 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 no. This is a culture, this is a pecking order. You think somebody driving a Mercedes will look at a Fiat? But the Fiat will look at the Mercedes. It's a pecking order. It's a pecking order. Now, this is the big difference. You have heard me tell you many times, all this that you see is an illusion, right? In fact, one of the, well, one of the people who wrote or translated Ramayana, he says, that as far as this eye can see, consider this all an illusion. Now, how many of you sat there, even when you were aspirants, and said, that's not true? I have a wife, I have a job, I have a this, I have a that, I have my this, and my that, this is all real to me. What if I told you that right now, right now, there is a lot of crisis going on. Wars are going on. Countries are in recession. People have been jumping out the windows. People have lost fortunes. And do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? Because they were all lying. People say, oh no, because of the economic policies of the government. No, 
what economic policy? A what government? How, how, how is our economy? Uh, how does 10% sound? Ten, growing 10%. Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, tell them it's growing 10%. You can't check. You can't check. So, how much is it growing? 11%, 14%, 50%. And everybody goes, wow. <laughs> no, a lot of people think I'm, I'm, I'm being stupid when I say this. No, no, this is my time. <laughs> this is my time because the drought is here and I carry water. This is my time. The rest of the time, people don't have time for me. <laughs> they don't want to listen to the truth. Here's the situation. In a world where people think the lie is the truth, in a world, this is going to be very good. In, the wor in this world where, where people think lie is the truth, truth will sound like a lie. No. Nope. It just so happens that it came out. And that's why you know there is a God. It came out, all their lies came out. Companies who were responsible for auditing and telling you, yes, they are telling the truth. could not burn, shred the paper fast enough because they were lying. The banks were lying. The government was lying. Financial institutions were lying. Corporations were lying. And we're not talking about small ones. We're talking about some of the largest institutions, companies, largest, lying, lying, openly lying, blatantly, like Enron, openly lying. But what did you think? You thought, wow, they're telling the truth. You remember I was saying, do you understand human nature? You remember? Learn this. You don't know, just from hearing, you don't know how to distinguish between a truth and a lie. You don't. You don't. If you could, the job of the police would be easy. You just ask a thief, did you steal? <laughs> See, you don't know, you can't tell. This is, uh, this is how you are. You can't tell. You can't tell. You can't tell. Just don't, you don't have a mechanism in you 
that can say he's lying. You don't. You can guess. And sometimes you'll be right and sometimes you'll be wrong. So, you must know. Ah! But the world doesn't want you to know. They want you to believe. The world doesn't want you to know. They want you to believe. And there is a big difference between believing and knowing. Should you believe in yourself or should you know yourself? Should you believe in God or should you know God? Should you believe in this blessing or should you know this blessing? Since you can't tell the difference between truth and lie, anybody coming up and saying, and saying to you, I'm going to talk about God, you will believe it. How long have you believed? How long have you believed that God is a man? And for the women here, how long have you believed God is a female? <laughs> and just think for one second. Just one second. This power, this creator, is there for Millions and billions 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 of years before human being ever shows up on this little planet called Earth. We have to give God an image. He, she. That is in both. In all the he, in all the she, this power resides. In all the it, this power resides. This is the only power that never celebrates a birthday. Do you realize that? Can't. Why? Never was created and never can be destroyed. There is no place. There is no place where this power isn't. This power is even in the isn't. No place. Nothing has even nothing has that everything in it. Believing is abdicating the responsibility of knowing. Because if you believe, you realize you don't have to know. So you don't have to know, you can be happy any which way. It's okay. It's okay. So you have a miserable time. Miserable. But and you are a believer. Not a knower, a believer. So what do you what do you do? What do you, what, what, what do, you do when you are a believer and you're having a miserable time? Oh, I have to find the reason why. I, there must be some reason why this is happening. The stars, maybe the stars. Karma, karma, it must be my karma. Right? 
I must have done something. I got to go find out my karma. And do you think there is a shortage of people who will introduce you to your karma? <laughs> when, <laughs> when in the world where lies are spoken like the truth, Truth tends to sound like a lie. But it's not. But it's not. It is the truth. And what so? What does the Master say about your miserable time? Beautiful things. One, have patience. It will pass. This is the good thing. And if it doesn't seem like it is passing, go inside and feel blessed. Because the reality of it is, the reality of it is, that so far you are alive. You hold within you most incredible power. So far you are alive. You have a weapon, a weapon called clarity that can destroy Ignorance. It has to be pretty powerful. Ignorance is big. Ignorance is huge. Plague. You've heard of the plague, right? From the time of the pharaohs, the plagues. But the thing is, they came and they went. Right? We don't have plagues anymore. They come, they go. They come, they go. They come, they go. And every time a plague comes, it, it, it claims its victims. Right? High technology, high thing, high... But the plague of ignorance is still claiming lives. And the plague of ignorance has come, but never gone. And it was there when the other plagues came, and it was there when other wars came, and it was there when other devastations came, and it was there when there was time of seemingly plenty. It was still there, and it was still claiming lives. This possibility to be fulfilled every day. Every day, the possibility to know. Every day, the possibility to be in the joy that you're alive. You are alive. You are alive. To know and feel privileged that you are being blessed. Yeah. People want to feel thankful in their lives. It's called gratitude. To feel gratitude in your life. But what if I was to tell you, you cannot feel gratitude if you don't have gratification. It's not possible. Do you want to know the meaning of gratification? The meaning of gratification is to be fulfilled. Be fulfilled and you will have automatic gratitude. 
You don't have to go around pretending to be thankful. Yeah? People, people sometimes they want to look humble. So they will put their hands sometimes. I've seen it. I've seen it. They'll put their hands like this. And they'll look down a little bit. And This is, this is not humility. <laughs> this is not humility. This is just telling a lie. This sounds like the truth. <laughs> no? I've seen it. A dog will truly be humble. Truly be humble when it is feeling humble. A human being, I have seen it. You, you can see it, the burning thoughts, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Go to hell. As they humble themselves. It's human nature. Human nature. Smile. A baby will not smile. A baby will not smile unless the baby feels like smiling. You can say as much as you want to the smile, 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 smile. No. No. And then when we grow, this is what we learn. You know? Culture. It's called culture. You know, I travel a lot, I see a lot of the culture. Because <laughs> we're a cultured. We're cultured people. Do you know what a cultured pearl is? It's not a natural pearl. It is an artificially grown pearl. It's called cultured pearl. So uh, cul we are cultured. We, have a, we all have a culture. <laughs> Seems to me different ways of telling lies. The culture. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody's culture. I mean, you're all, everyone is entitled. I mean, it's like Indians. When they want to say yes, they go like this, which means no to everybody else, but to them it means yes. And when they really understand something, they just keep going one way, you know. <laughs> I really got it. Japanese, they don't want to say no. You go to a Japanese supermarket or one of these shopping centers and you say, do you have cameras? And they will, they will not tell you no. They will say, please look in another shop. <laughs> the first time it happened to me, please look in another shop, I felt like, you don't think I am worthy to shop in your shopping center? You sending me somewhere else? Culture. We have to do something. The time for peace has come. And we have to do something. And it is, it's, 
it's not about governments. It's not. It's not. It's about each one of us. It's not about the big institutions. It's about each one of us. Everyone. Everyone on the face of this earth. This is what people want. This is what people want. People want peace. People want to be able to believe in their God. Fine. They should have that freedom. That's it. All we want is just a little elbow room, I call it. Not to be like this, but to be able to stand with both hands on the sides and, and rotate if we feel like it. <laughs> Not packed. Even rats don't like to be packed. We are humans. So, beautiful thing, this knowledge. So many people listen to this message. So many people. In 2008, approximately 400,000 people heard me over television and live events that I did. In 2009, that number jumped to 4 million. So, Everywhere around the world, people are listening. Regardless of their religion, regardless of what's going on. Because this is the message of peace. This is the message that the blessing is that coming and going of the breath. And you have it. That tool in your life to take full advantage of it. Do it. You know? Do it. Another human nature, you are very good at making excuses. Excellent. You excel in making excuses. You can come up with wonderful excuses of why you shouldn't do something that you ought to be doing. So people know they should practice because it feels good to their heart, but they come up with the excuse, uh, tomorrow, I don't have time, I'm very busy. And what are you busy doing what? 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 What are you busy doing? What? No, 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 no. Fact, fact. No believing here. Fact. Three things, right? You were born, you are alive, and you're going to die. You have any questions about that? This is knowing, this is, this is not believing, this is knowing. So, these three things happen. Has the birth happened? Yes. Otherwise you wouldn't be here. <laughs> and are you alive? Yes. So you're very busy moving towards the third target. That's what you're busy doing? That's, that's the fact. Day and night. You can't help it. You, you can't even slow down a second. 
This is what you're busy doing. This is what you are busy doing even when you are busy doing other things. It is happening in the background. So, that, that is my advice to you. My advice. This is all I can do. I can give you my advice. My reminder to remind you again of what is important. Otherwise, it's all a matter of patience. Is it cold? Wait. Summer will be here. No? June 20, uh, September 21st? Spring. It's cloud it was cloudy the last few days? All in, in Argentina it was. <laughs> Buenos Aires, rather. So all you have to do is wait. Not sunny. You want it to be cloudy? Just wait. <laughs> It'll get cloudy. You want it to be night? Just wait. It'll be night. You want it to be morning? Just wait. It'll be morning. You want it to be afternoon? Just wait. And it'll be afternoon. All you have to have is a little patience. And it goes around like this, and like this, and like this. <laughs> and it's been doing that for a really long time. <laughs> Wait, and it'll come back, and it'll go away, and it'll come back, and it'll go away, and it'll come back, and it'll go away. And then, in this whole drama of everything happening, there's this. I tell you about this one. Nobody else tells you about this one. I can tell you. I can tell you about this one. Knowing. I brought you knowledge, not beliefs. I could have brought you beliefs. And you see, I know and you know you cannot sell knowledge, but you can sell beliefs. Do you know that? You can sell beliefs. Everybody else does. And if I was selling beliefs, I would be rich. Really rich. And we wouldn't be sitting here. We would be in a huge stadium if I was selling beliefs. But the day you heard me you heard something different. And here was somebody who wasn't selling beliefs. And I have never sold you beliefs. Never. And I never will sell you a belief. But I have brought you knowledge. And I will keep reminding you, as long as I am alive, as long as you are alive, I will keep reminding you how important this breath is, because I know. Not because I believe, I know. I know. This is what I'll keep doing. You know, and, and the different events that are going to happen, Brazil, and. Chile, and I'm, and then um, I'm going to be going to Peru, Montevideo, the event that's going to happen in Uruguay. 
But it is, it is my pleasure, it's my pleasure to come and remind you of this. So I'm here. I know it's been a long time. I've been tra You see, <laughs> when, when, you were, when we were only reaching about 200,000, you know, there was a time we were only reaching about 20,000, 30,000 people. They had plenty of time. Plenty of time. Now, there's no way to keep up with it. it it's way beyond. So, whatever I can do, I do. I mean, every, you know, Saturday, Sunday now, for a really long time, we've been having events. Every Saturday, every Sunday, and Wednesday. And then travel to different places, and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday off, Tuesday, or, and traveling. Hopefully Tuesday off, and then Wednesday. I've been doing that. In Europe, that's what was going on. In America, that was what was going on. And I'm here. But travel, travel, go places, remind people, this is the place. And how fortunate you are, truly, that you said, hmm, I want to know. Somebody said, I can show you, I can make you know, and you said, I want to know. That's, that's good. That's wonderful. Because there are people I want to believe. <laughs> they want to keep their eyes closed. They don't actually want to see. You know, have you seen people when they get really scared, they close their eyes? Why? I mean, why? Is that going to make the problem disappear? <laughs> yeah. No. They close their eyes. Because they don't want to see. Of course they're going to get hurt, but they don't want to see. And, no. that this knowledge will be with you till the very end. It will be there. No, so, what do you think? This is a belief? And the video you will see tomorrow, I mean, that's what, it's very remarkable. That's, it's, it is, the knowledge is there for you till the very end. That's what you've chosen. It's good. It's very good. <laughs> it's very, 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 very good. It will not abandon you. It'll be there till your last breath. The blessing that is coming and going of this breath. Don't forget that. So important. So important. Hey, <laughs> we, we need to know that. We need we really truly need to know that, not believe in that, we need to know that. Because otherwise, what is it? Well, I'll tell you what it is. This is dirt. And it is dirt that is destined to become dirt. Do you know the nature of this earth? Do you know the nature of this earth? Here, everything comes from dirt and becomes dirt. 
Do you know that? Even the mountains. Even the mountains. They were made from dirt, compressed, and they will be turned into dirt again. So this dirt, destined to become dirt, but today, it is not dirt. It isn't. And do you know why today this is not dirt? Do you know? Yes, because of the coming and going of this blessing. That's why it's not dirt. But as soon as that blessing stops, this will become dirt. So you should be in love. Absolutely in love. With that blessing. Because that's it. That, I mean, that is it. Without it, this is meaningless. How meaningless? You don't even, you know, you know, you've seen it. Nobody wants you then. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants you. <laughs> Nobody wants you. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. You know, I've seen it. Nobody wants you. They, right away. Says, okay, 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 okay. You know, the processes begin. You get refrigerated till everything gets sorted out. Then put them in the basket, casket, <laughs> bury them. You know? And by that time, by that time, you know, people will come, line up, somebody will say something nice, throw some flowers, bury it, and people turn around and walk away. Just walk away. You know, you were, you thought, you listened, you loved, you smiled, you you talked, you loved things. This what represented so much. And people just walk away from it. So, if you truly want to be in love with somebody, then to be in love with the coming and going of this Blessing. <laughs> that's it. That's what's making the difference. That's what's making the... You think it's this? Oh, human beings have such a developed brain. <laughs> so, why are you walking away? The brain is still there. <laughs> Uh-uh. It's not the brain. Oh, human being, we are developed because we have thumbs. Well, still the two thumbs are in there. So why are you walking away? Oh, we could walk upright. Well, those legs are still there. Why are you walking away? Oh, he was so good looking. Oh, she was so good looking. Well, that face is still there. So why are you walking away? Because no longer the blessing comes in and goes out. And once you have attached yourself to that, this is okay, this is good. It's okay. It's good to live, good to experience, good. But you know what's really important. And that part of you, 
will never die. That part of you will never die. Because that is what is everywhere. Always was, is, and will be. That, how simple is that? How beautiful is that? There is a tremendous amount of effort in the prisons. And uh, time to time I go to prisons to see the inmates. We don't, I don't judge them. They've already been judged, so <laughs> there's no need for me to judge them. All I see is they're human beings too. And there is no human being on the face of this earth who has not made a mistake. You know, and it's, sometimes it's so funny. <laughs> People who are really rich, they live in a house. They have bars on their windows. I mean, it is such a thing. It is such a thing. There are people on the outside world who think they are free, but they don't get food three times a day. In prison, you get food three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You don't have to cook it. Somebody else makes it for you. It may not taste good, but it's food. Very good security. <laughs> nobody can go out, but nobody can come in either. I mean, very, very good security. Every cell in suite. We're all prisoners. We're all prisoners. It just depends on who imprisons us. We're all prisoners. Some are prisoners of ignorance. They are. Some are prisoners of lies. Some are prisoners of this, and some are prisoners of that. Some are prisoners of their wives, and some are prisoners of their husbands, and some are prisoners of... I mean, they're all prisoners. Prisoners. <laughs> but to be the prisoner, to be imprisoned by clarity, to be imprisoned by true love, to be imprisoned by knowledge, that would be nice. We're not, but that would be nice. Yeah. Yes, you know. To be, to be imprisoned by like clarity, you can't go anywhere. I mean, if clarity said you can't go far away from me, that would be very nice. In my opinion, that would be really nice. You know, it would be really nice. I know knowledge works. I know knowledge works. You know, it isn't one person or two people or three people or four people. So many people. Just recently I got a picture. So I'm looking at the picture. It was in an email. I'm looking at the picture. And there's a couple of ladies, and next to them is a couple of nuns. Nuns. And I'm like, okay, well, that's very interesting. And they're elderly nuns, you know. And then I read the email. It said, these two nuns just received knowledge. And one of them says, this is what I was looking for all my life. 
They're still nuns. They're still nuns. And she says, this is what I was looking for all my life. I will treasure this and I will practice every day. The only time knowledge would not work is if the coming and going of this blessing was not happening. <laughs> then it would not work. There are people who would not come, who would not come to an event. VIPs, they would not come to an event. If they came to an event, you'd have police surrounding the place. Very famous. Not a problem. You want knowledge? No problem. You can have knowledge. And they do. They do. So, very, very special. Something very, very special. So anyways, I, I think I've, I've gone way beyond my limit. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe we got another day. It's not over. We have another day. So, thank you very much and good night. Thank you.